it's, it's flips of things. Like it could be it's Bams rare remixed and unreleased. Okay. Okay. And I got some some stuff that I got on SWV that never that we never released that was just dope. So I'm got I'm doing one of them is like really really dope. The fans really wanted. It's called What Two Can Do. So they, I put a snippet of it on on the internet a couple of years ago. <laughs> Probably like a 2017, and they've been dying for it ever since. So I'm trying to get that out as well on the same album. Was that from the first? It was album? in the. It was no. It was from the in the middle of, after the sessions were done for the second album. Okay. They were already. They were done cutting, and this is just something I did on my own at my house, just at messing around. Okay. But pretty good because did, we, we thought there there was going to be a Coca Cola uh, endorsement thing at this particular moment, so we did a song called "You Can't Front." You can't. Another one called uh, "What Two Can Do." Okay. Yeah. And so, yeah, real love is comes from that same time, but I but I modified it and put myself on it in 2011, and I've just been sitting on it ever since. So that's why that's coming now. So, are we expecting a video? Are we expecting full the promotion? What? what with real love? With real love? No, that'll probably be a lyric video only. Okay. But the but the big one, "What Two Can Do," that's going to be that's a secret. Uh, I, I'm trying to do a tribute to them with certain celebrities lip syncing to it. Okay. Okay. And so that's yeah. I'm trying. I'm working on that now. Are they going to be in it themselves? We just talked about that. I might have them in at the very, very end as a, just a cameo, but it's really a tribute to them from okay. some of their peers. Okay. Right. Look yeah. at you get exclusive. Check you out. Get yeah. them exclusive. <laughs> this is an exclusive, baby. You get no. that. I ain't told nobody this one. <laughs> no. I, but I'd wonder, though, people would always wonder, could you go back and write and do a song with them now? Would it be I have same? several things coming. Listen, they're going to be some of the same because it is the same. Some of it's old and you won't even know because I'm flipping it. Like, Real Love is a tribute to breakbeats and records that we love. So, like... And I just recently befriended Prince Marky D, who we just lost. Oh, yes, yeah. So in Real Love, I'm using the the, co the keys that he wrote for Real Love, for Mary J. I have that in my Real Love, but it's only for in the verses. Then it switches to some whole other thing. So like it's uh. kind of like a, a DJ record. As it, Real Love makes you feel like a DJ is sitting there cutting in different beats that you know wow. while the while the vocal is going it's dope i wanted wow. it to feel like that like i keep sw i keep switching the beat up underneath you why did we have to wait this long to get stuff from you because what last year because, two years what were you doing check what this because in 2011 when i did when i added my part to real love it was just me casually listening back to it that vocal is from 95 but um i didn't like the hook that i wrote in 95 so i took that hook off and that was the whole SWV. It was it was them, all three of them. It was it was called something completely different. The only way I could keep it and make it something new and fresh was to change the hook and make it be a better hook. So I did that, and it's me singing the hook in a vocoder, you know, kind of Teddy Riley style. <laughs> with, and then and then I kept Coco's vocals for the for the verses, and then it made sense. So it's more of a duet. With me singing, the, it's not even duet. It's Coco singing the verses and me singing the hook is what it is. Wow. And it's just cool. And so I, I decided to flip the track into a breakbeat type of track because it just seemed appropriate. It's like, I didn't want to do a new production on it. I didn't want to do no trap on it, that's for sure. And yeah. I didn't want to have it be the old track that it was. So the only thing I could think of to do to make it be kind of hot was to make it be every breakbeat that you know and loved. Like, is it, well, not every, but... Every, the ones I used, you yeah. know and love. Like, okay, I told you the, the verses are real love, right? Yeah. 
when you get to the hook, I'm using them imp- the drums that make you feel like imp- come and talk to me. Such to do, such to do. You know, like, you got that for the hook. And then, and then another verse comes in, and it might be fur, 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 fur. now I feel like Bonita Applebaum. You feel me from Tribe Called Quest? Yeah, yeah. Bro, trust me, this is a DJ hip hop R and B heads record with, Co- <laughs> with Coco's vocals that you know and love. <laughs> Please remember to subscribe to the channel, but most importantly to press the notification bell so that you can be notified when we do have a new interview. Loads to come, but thanks a lot for watching. Mm-hmm.